Um, I did my I did my speech on the uh, MPAA, the, the Motion Picture Association of America. So they are in charge of rating all movies. Um, you know the G, PG, PG-13, R, and then NC-17. Um, my problem with the MPAA is that all the judges for them are really old, and their moms that are really conservative, and which is fine. Conservative is it's fine. It's just they rate movies like really bad and I just I think that they should have changed their, the way they rate movies because there's a lot of problems with them. Some of the problems are, um, okay, you know how you never see NC-17 that's like really rare and it's, it's, it's pending, it's called like the film isn't rated yet, so that's why you'll be like this film is not rated yet, it's because it's pending because when the MPAA, they, uh, when they rate a film, filmmaker has two choices. If they get too high of a rating, if you get too high of a rating, a lot of people don't go to see it because either they can't get into the theater or, you know, they're too young or they think, like, oh, it's a bad movie or whatever. So usually they get slapped with the NC, or the NC-17 first and then the filmmaker has two choices. Either fix the movie and make it like an R and take out some scenes, do whatever you can, take out some F-bombs or whatever, and then um, it gets changed to an R. Or they can leave it there and not make nearly as much money as they would. So, um, and sometimes even people change, they get stopped with the R and they want to change to PG-13 so that way, you know, all the people that aren't 17 yet and they want to go see a movie with, you know, other friends that are 16 or whatever, they can't go see it. Um, I think this is a problem because it takes a lot of the art out of the film. Um, a lot of the really good movies are <coughs> changed and uh, there's no way for you to actually see the real, what the, the filmmaker really wanted to see. Um, like you, go see the theatrical version on the DVD if you want to buy it, you can buy the DVD and a lot of people don't even bother to do that. Um, also, um, a lot of movies that get really high ratings are like independent movies and foreign films and their DVD menus are as extravagant as like Iron Man or something. They're really, really small. Um, so that's one of the biggest problems that it has. Um, I understand why the MPA is there is because, you know, it was found for parents um, so that they can control what the children watch and stuff. But I don't think that the whole entire movie atmosphere should be changed just because of kids. Um, because most parents think their kids can movies anyway. So I think it should just be there as a guideline, but not necessarily that. There's those five genres. You can't lump all those movies. Every movie you've ever seen is lumped into five categories. But I just think it's, uh, you can't do that because every movie is way different. Um, some examples of like how ridiculous their uh, their rating scale is, like if you've ever seen Whale Rider, it's kind of like an independent movie, it's like a family film, um, there's one person, there's one shot in one tiny film of the movie, and it's um, someone smoking weed, like a tiny little part, and they're in, I think they're in Hawaii or somewhere, like Pacific Island, and um, because of that, they got stopped with the R, and so a lot of people, you know, it was one of the best family films of the year, but it was rated R. Um, and it, um, another one is Amelie. It's like one of the really I one of my favorite movies that is like a foreign film, but it got rated R um, for little scenes. Um, so it's crazy that those type of movies get the same ratings as like Eyes Wide Shut or Boogie Nights. So like movies that like everyone knows that should be rated R, you know, just like these stupid little movies, but they get they get uh, slapped with R. And I just think it's like the kiss of death is the NC-17, and I think. Um, so they, they need to do something in, in between them. Anyway, um, a quote by uh, Roger Ebert um, on the movie Passion of the Christ. Uh, he said, I said the film is the most violent I've ever seen. The, MPA, the MPAA's R rating is definitive proof that the organization either will never give the NC-17 rating for violence alone or was intimidated by the subject matter. If it had been anyone other than Jesus up on the cross, I have a feeling that the NC-17 would have been automatic. So it's just saying that, like, that they're really judgmental on what movies get what ratings, and I think there needs to be either normal people on the board or the whole range that needs to be changed because it's really old and outdated.